Ndumeli so zina ni la manda la mrene iso kristo wanazar taichira. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who is alive. Machirunia na musi ania kubaru melisa ni wafunzi wa msanda wa ntiki zini sukiviru. This morning the one who is greeting you is Pastor Chief ntiki zini sukiviru. Ndifano nga pasi aburumi wa abafunzi mabo M.E. Ragman. I am here under the ministry and the leadership of our pastor, our mother, Ma Ragman. Wa the Living Gospel World Mission Chiliwo. From the Living Gospel World Mission Chiliwo. Ndivo nevenda reweba rekandi the Nikovel and Enavo ifila mzimu machiruni ayo. She is the one who sent me to come and share with you the word of God this morning. I believe we are going to be blessed greatly. We are going to read our scripture reading from the book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 16. It reads as follows. Va opa umzimu vone zvenezo ngachavo va amba vabudzana vari Yehova u asedza u afa omwana bugu ya umu elechedza va opa Yehova na vasa hangwi dzina lawe Then those who fear the Lord talked often one to another and the Lord listened and heard it and a book of remembrance was written before him of those who reverenced and worshipfully feared the Lord and who thought of his name. Karabe. Shall we pray? Zina nila iso Christo wa Nazareta, mzimu wa shukungo labo kilderuli vara. Korabe la urikaba li puteri nga muya umu ketwa, wadi rumeri zimbiruni zashu miumburu ni ashu. Muna wa shuri pate nga lo, ribe zine wane ya wawafa bata duru. Amen. The message today is, has got a topic that says, God keeps a book of remembrance. God keeps a book of remembrance. We are going to look at this message under four aspects. And these are the aspects that we are going to look at under them as we proceed with the message. Shangoni as we are living in this planet Earth, we are divided into two categories of people. There are those of peop the, the people who fear the Lord and those who do not fear the Lord. Those that fear the Lord have got something that they speak one to another. And those who do not fear the Lord, they also have some things that they speak one to another. Often a time, uh, the message that these two groups of people, as they are speaking one to another, their messages are filtered into each of the groups. And these two people in their own groups, they have got different perspectives. But however, our God, Jehovah, has got a book in which he writes everything that is being spoken. When we repented, we have been told that now our names have been written in the books of in the book of life. Because the Lord has got a lot of books. Now today, as we are looking at 
uh, what the prophet Malachi said. Now the first thing Malachi shows us that God is able to see. When people that fear the Lord as they are conversing one to another, the Lord is looking and seeing them. And he is looking deep into our hearts and he is also looking into our lips and mouth as to what are we speaking about. Whether we are speaking the language of encouraging one another or speaking the language of discouraging each other. Now Malachi says, God sees. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, you need to take into cognizance the fact that whatever you are saying, Yehovah God is looking and seeing you. Lingaba locha na it might be daylight or it might be during the night. Whether in the presence of a lot of food or in the, uh, in the absence of food. Whether there is, a, there is a lot of riches or in poverty. As we are speaking, whatever we say, the Lord is seeing us. The other thing that I want us to look at and which, which Malachi depicts in his message. And he says, God hears. As we are talking one to another, we who fear the Lord, God hears. Now we need to understand and hear ourselves as to what we are speaking about as we are talking. Because God is listening to our speeches. He is not a stranger or a pilgrim amongst us. He dwells amongst us daily. As we are speaking, he is present. He is listening to as to what his children are saying. We do not walk by sight, but we walk by faith. When we speak, we need to understand that God is present and he exists and he is listening, he is hearing us. Whatever we are saying can bring life or death to us. As a matter of fact, it is very much important to it is very much important to take into cognizance as to what you are speaking, mind your language. When a child of God speaks, Yes must be yes. Aiwa, yawa, aiwa. And no must just be no. The child of God is not double-tongued. Now the child of God, when he speaks, he speaks something that builds. Because our father is a constructor. When a new convert comes into the house of the Lord and he is amongst us, let us take into cognizance what we speak. Because the Lord is saying, is, is looking at us as to whether we are speaking things that are constructive or something that are destructive. Everyone of us is a member in the body of Christ. Now each member is there to build the body. 
Now, if one member of the body becomes sick, the whole body becomes sick. We have become part of the whole body so that we can become the whole body of Christ. Let us talk something that is constructive and to those that fear the Lord. Why do we have to mind our language? Because our God hears and he also sees. He also knows what he can do after we have spoken. Cain and Abel had a conversation. And they established or prepared to take their offerings unto the Lord. And Cain decided to take a, a bad offering before the Lord. And Abel prepared a good offering before the Lord. And God was looking and seeing everything. And God wrote everything. And he was, he delighted, he was delighted on the offering of Abel. God keeps a book of remembrance. Now if God keeps a book of remembrance, what about to us as human beings? In, our, in, our, in, in the book of Esther chapter 6 from uh, the first three verses, now we find the message that is written in the following way. Ambovari on that night the king could not sleep and he ordered that the book of memorable deeds the chronicles be brought and they were read before the king and it was found written there how Mordecai had told of Bitana and Teresh two of the king's attendants who guarded the door who had sought to lay hands on King Ahasuerus. And the king said, What honor or distinction has been given Mordecai for this? Then the king's servants who ministered to him said, Nothing has been done for him. Zauri marodokai oitachitu chiwurwane kushango nila babere zobona rangeza ngwari wakabu. Now the fact that Mordecai did a great thing in the land of Babylon, it was only recognized from the record books. And the book reminded of the great works that Mordecai had done. Now God has got a book that also reminds him as to who are those people that fear him. God's book reminds him as to who are those people who do not forget the name of the Lord. Because the Lord keeps on writing on his book. It shows how this, his people speak. He is able to see as to 
what his people are doing. Because he has got a book to remind him. In Malachi chapter 3, verse 14. Those who do not fear the Lord also have their own language and they say something. They say it is useless to serve God. And what profit is it if we keep his ordinances? After keeping his ordinances. And walk gloomily and as if in morning apparel before the Lord of hosts. I want to encourage you as the children of God. That God see, hears and he also writes in the book. God sees and he also writes in the book. When we speak, God hears. When we do every conduct that we do, God is looking at us. He is writing in his book that as it, if, as it is dawn or during in the evening time, what have we said and what have we done? We are serving the living God. We are serving the God that can see. When we are in the house of the Lord, we need to know that as we are speaking, God is listening to us. When we are in our own temples, as we are speaking, we need to know that God is listening to us and he is also looking at us. When we are in our place of work, we must, we must know that God is listening at us and he is looking at us. God has got a book of remembrance so that he can remember of Everything that we have done and that we have seen. Now, Malachi is reminding all of us that our God sees, that our God hears. When we pray, we need to pray knowing this that. We are speaking to the God that hears. We are speaking to God who can see. We are speaking to God who knows what he can do. The heavenly God. He takes care of us. In whatever that pertains to our lives. He cares about us. He cares about our health. He cares about our dwelling places. He cares about our clothing. He cares about what we are going to eat and what we are going to do. Because he is the God that cares. He has a book. And he writes our stories in it. And he opens this book, tell me a story. And he can see the prayers that we sent to him. And he sees the needs that must be met. And he's, he can see where we need to be strengthened. As we climb the hills, the hills of life. God is able to see. God is able to, to hear. God can hear. And he knows what he is going to do as we are climbing the hills. As we descend the hills, God sees. God hears. God knows what he will do. Let us 
move with this God. Neither turning to the right nor to the left. While those who fear not the Lord are saying whatever they say. And they ask us as to what are we getting by serving this God? And we need to know that we are God's ambassadors in this world. And we do not belong to this world. We are going to, we are passers-by. We are going to pass by after having demonstrated the heavenly life in this world, young men and young ladies, you who have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, while you are in your own circle of young people, when you are speaking amongst yourselves through social media, you need to know that God can see. God can hear. God knows. Now talk constructive things and encourage one another. And talk something that is going to edify one another in case one gets discouraged. Do not move on the side of the unbelievers and look like them. When they use the social media negatively in order to propagate sin mm -hmm. and they evil things. Use this social media to speak about your living God. Knowing that God sees. Knowing that God hears. Knowing that God has got a remembrance book. And his book must remind him about the good things that you have done. Fathers and mothers. Let us live in our families with this knowledge. That God hears. That God sees. What do we speak uh, to the servant of God. What are we doing about the servant of God? Are we speaking constructive language? Are we speaking encouraging language? The, the Lord is listening. God is seeing. He is writing on the book. What are we doing as elderly people when we are in the house of the Lord? Are we able to do what we are able to do in order to propagate the gospel? And the word of God says there are those who give and they become rich more. And there are those who are selfish and they become poor. Jehovah, God sees. Una he has a book. Uya he can write. Let us make sure that we are being recorded in his book of the good things that we are doing. Rishiamba, kari jere njere, urizunera kwamba, Jehovah, uzutecheles. We need to recognize of all the things that we are uh, doing and realize that God is listening and whatever we are saying. May God richly bless you. Shall we pray? Amen.